Welcome. Let's make sense of the equation of the circle. Let's consider the circle on the left. And we're going to say that the center of the circle is located at a location, which we're going to call h comma k. And now we're going to choose a point in the circumference of the circle. And now let's give it the location as x comma y. If we connect the center of the circle to this random point, we're going to define the radius of the circle. If we would have chosen any other point in the circumference of the circle, we would also define the radius of the circle. And regardless of whichever point we choose, one thing that remains constant is that the value of this radius never changes. So we can think of the circle as a collection of points that are equidistant to the center of the circle. If we want to define the equation of the circle, we need to define the distance between the center and any point in the circle. And for that, we're going to use the distance formula. And for the value of x1 and y1, let's use the location of the point. And for the value of x2, y2, let's use the location of the center of the circle. So now let's plug in that information on the distance formula. So we're going to have x minus h square, and we're going to have y minus k square. And now let's get rid of the square root by taking the square on both sides. And now we're going to have d square equals to x minus h square plus y minus k square. One thing to keep in mind is that this variable of d represents the distance between the two points that we have defined the distance between the center and a point in the circle. Well, that is the radius of the circle. So instead of using the variable of d, let's change that to the letter of r to indicate that this is the radius of the circle. And now we have defined the equation of the circle. Another way to rewrite this equation is to place the r square on the right hand side of the equal sign. So now that we have made sense of the equation of the circle, now let's think about what information do we need to actually define the equation of any circle. We need the values of the three unknowns. We need the value of the radius of the circle, we need the value of h, and we need the value of k, which are the center of the circle. So we can say that we need the location of the center, which we use the parameters h comma k, and we also need the length of the radius of the circle which we use the parameter of R. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.